A Rakshasa is a demon from ancient Terran Hindu mythology said to devour humans. This however has little to do with the naming of today's subject matter. Instead the name Rakshasa was derived from a quaint 20th century tabletop game, Dungeons and Dragons. Such a thing we can all agree is just a grievous waste of time. <laughs> tabletop games. Nerds. <clears throat> Anyways. This game had reinterpreted the Hindu myth as a functionally immortal and quite intelligent feline being capable of shapeshifting, with an inherent desire for influence and power. It was this name that inspired General Motors, manufacturer of the Mad Cat knockoff, the Rakshasa. The similarities between a deceitful shapeshifter and a counterfeit mech should be obvious to anyone with two neurons to rub together. Not, not that it took me a while to figure it out. Uh, no, no. Uh, anyways. The Rakshasa was first conceived during the clan invasion when Davion engineers decided to recreate the powerful Madcat, an extremely advanced and efficient machine used by the clans. The problem was that the scientists were limited by the less advanced technology of the inner sphere. A Marauder chassis was used for the framework of the design, giving it the same weight capacity as the Madcat, as the weaponry and components available were heavier than those found in the mech's original inspiration, rough analogs were used to create the Inner Sphere's best attempt at a facsimile. While by no means an exact replica of the Mad Cat, the Rakshasa proved to be an effective battle mech in its own right. The MDG-1A Rakshasa weighs in at 75 tons, stands approximately 14 meters tall, and is capable of moving at speeds of up to 86 kilometers per hour using its class 375 extra light engine. An impressive 11.5 tons of armor protect the mech's internals and endo steel skeleton. 15 double heat sinks are more than enough to keep the mech cool, provided the pilot wields the mech's arsenal with a modicum of trigger discipline. The stock MDG-1A steps off the assembly line with two 10 tube long range missile launchers in twin shoulder mounted missile racks, an extended range large laser and a standard medium laser in each arm, and a single medium pulse laser fitted in the left torso. This will set potential buyers back just under 19 million C bills. A very steep investment, but well worth it for our wealthy units. As the Rakshasa never really became a popular mech within its own right, it has few variants most of which are rather lackluster, such as the MDG-1B, which merely exchanges the ER large lasers on the 1A for standard large lasers, reducing heat generation moderately. The MDG-2A is really the only factory-produced variant of note, as it fields a quartet of medium pulse lasers, a large pulse laser, and a Class V Ultra Autocannon. This variant tends to run hot, and its autocannon poses a greater risk of jamming than similar weapons, making it a tricky to operate, but relatively effective build. That was it for the uh, Rakshasa, a pretty short entry this time. There's not too much to say about it, if I'm honest. Man, looking at this thing. It's like asking your mom for a Mad Cat, and she says we've got Mad Cat at home. Ugh. So Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Holidays, and a very cheerful Star League Day. Anyways, I'm gonna go get smashed on eggnog. Enjoy. A very steep investment, but well worth it for many useless units.